Hello again dreamers, it's Anna and welcome to another DIY challenge. In today's video, I'll be showing you four different ways to replace your plastic covering on your Dreamer Designs kits. Before you continue watching this video though, please don't forget to hit that notification bell and subscribe to Dreamer Designs so you don't miss out any new videos that we release. And also please give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying what we're releasing. Alright you guys, let's get started. Alright, so I've got my 40 by 50 Grand Valley Aspens by Jean Guillet, and the last episode that I did, I painted the sides, and so now I'm going to replace the cover. So I'm just going to take this off. The reason that people replace the cover is so it gives them more of an easier workspace to work in smaller sections and the paper isn't flopping everywhere if you don't use cover reminders. So I've got four different options that you can use to replace um, the paper or the plastic. Let me just start over. All right, so I've got four different options to replace the plastic with. My first is my first is the paper that you get with double-sided tape. Um, there's only one side you can use, and this is this glossy side right here. This side you cannot put down on the, the this side you cannot put down on the glue, and and it's easy to tell which side is the right side because of the uh, writing on the paper. So there's that option. There's also this option right here. This is silicone paper and there's only one side that you can use for this as well. And it's the glossy side right here. And this is not glossy side. You can tell the difference. Good side bad side. So you have to be really careful with this. Um, if you put it down on the wrong side, it's going to leave some paper on your glue and you're going to have to use baby wipes and tweezers to get it all off. So I would suggest putting stickers or writing on top of this to make sure you don't put it on the wrong side. So there's that. Uh, to buy something like this, you can search silicone release paper on Google, and mine came in these big pieces like this, and I just cut them in fourths to make them smaller. The third option is parchment paper, and you can use both sides for this. It does not matter which side you use. This is uh, something people use to bake with, so you can find these in cupboards pretty easily, and you'll have to cut them down. That's why this is round like this. It's because it was the big rolls. You can buy them in smaller uh, hamburger size sheets um, to make it easier so you don't have to cut anything. And I would suggest buying the good quality kind like Reynolds, nothing cheap like from a dollar store because I've heard that they do leave residue and they're harder to peel off. There is uh, definitely one option that you're not supposed to use and it's this kind, the brown paper. It doesn't necessarily leave anything on your glue, but it is really hard to pull off and it just, it does take some glue off of it so I don't suggest using this. No. Yes. <laughs> like I said, any side will work for this. The last option is double-sided glossy replacement cover. Um, I bought this one off of DiamondDrillsUSA.com. Uh, they have diamond painting accessories and bulk diamonds. And they also have paper, and they're glossy on both sides, so you can use them on uh, both sides, so you don't have to worry about which end. 
and they're thicker than any of these and I'm gonna guess it's because of the glossy because with this it's just this thin paper this rips easy when you're trying to pull them off this is harder to rip so these will last a lot longer if you type in double-sided glossy paper into Google you're probably gonna find um, photo paper and I don't think those are gonna work as you can see now that I got the four different options you cannot see through this you cannot see through this and the other ones you can really see through the parchment paper and you can't really see through the silicone release paper but you can still kind of see something so if you wanted to do a mystery painting and what that is is someone buys you a painting and they take off the, the index so you can't see what it is and then you use this so they don't see what the painting is so if you want to do something like that this is a really good option and saving all of these is a really good option I think I'm gonna stick with these for this one and I really can't wait to finish this one because I'm sure it's gonna turn out so beautiful especially with the black border thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite and if you have any of these suggestions that I didn't mention please let me know as well if you want to use a little video or picture please don't forget to tag dreamer designs on Facebook or Instagram and use my hashtag Anna's DIY challenge before you guys go please don't forget to hit that notification bell subscribe to dreamer designs and if you have any other suggestions for our videos please don't forget to let us know all right you guys paint with passion and I will see you next time